Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom Stiles Radio Room number 22. Or, I should say, Tom's Radio Room Show number 22. Today, I'm going to talk about uh, an antenna I've had for a while. But I just recently discovered uh, how to use it. Would you believe that? And this is the little gym here, which... Uh, I see if I can get in the picture. It's four scanner radios... And it's supposed to give you a lot of a little better gain over the standard antenna that comes with them. And this is what's called a center loaded antenna. And this extends out here. So it extends out quite a bit and it has a very big operating range. Now, what I I, and I, got, I picked this up at a ham fest, gosh, maybe 20 years ago. As you can notice by the connector, it's the old style connector that was used for scanners when they first came out to emulate the connector that appeared on um, car antennas that had this kind of connector. They have a new one out. They've had a new one out for about, I don't know, probably five or ten years. From, this is from Radio Shack. Um, and it has their standard B and C connector on it. That's most scanners have. And it doesn't have the 90-degree bend in it. Uh, so it, it's not easy to use for a um, tabletop scanner unless you have an adapter to give you that L-shaped connection. It's mainly used for handheld, either scanners or if you're into amateur radio, it can be used for HTs because it can be tuned for uh, 2 meters and 440, for instance, or even short wave in the HF bands. So what I did not realize, and just because I never looked it up, and I guess when I bought this, the internet was really not that active. Kind of aged myself there, didn't I? Didn't I? So anyway, I, I bought it and I played with it, just kind of sliding the thing in and out, you know, extending it, and yeah, I wasn't too excited about it. But as I was looking for things to review this week, I ran across a uh, YouTube video by. Another podcaster that's into ham radio, his name is John, and uh, he did a review of the newer one, which is for HTs, and what I learned was how you tune this thing by extending and retracting the sections, and there's actually a formula for it that they provide in the instructions when you get the uh, the antenna, at least the new one. I don't know if it came with the old or not, old one or not, old one or not but I'm sure it did. So anyway, um, let me first show you the, uh, if you go to the Radio Shack website, let me show you. Okay, we'll bring up that website. Okay, here is, and this, this is the one thing I like about Radio Shack is they have most of their documentation for their um, articles that they have for sale uh, on their website. So that you get, if you get one used and you don't have a documentation or um, you've lost the documentation, you can usually go online and find it. So I just did a search for scanner center-loaded antenna, and then I found it. They presently sell for the new ones for $15. So they're still selling the new ones. Uh, they don't sell this old one anymore. And they have the documentation, which may or may not be applicable to the old one. So here is uh, here's the documentation. And it tells you that this antenna is good for receiving from 25 megahertz to 1296, 1.2 gigahertz. And it can be used as a quarter wave transmitting antenna from 130 megahertz to 535 megahertz. 
And then, if you go down here, see if I can find the page. Down here is the formula for actually computing what the length, what length you should make this by extending it or contracting it to tune a, a specific frequency. And then there's also a little handy dandy chart that gives you a, a quick overview of what how to set it up. So for instance, on in these lower bands, it says extend all nine sections and the 138 to 174, extend only the top two sections, and so on up. So, I did not realize this, but I do now, so now I'm going to go back and try it again some more. Um, and I think I'm going to try the new one, because I have several HTs that have the BNC connectors. So anyway, that's, um, that's the website. Now, let me go back, and I'm going to show, or try to show, John's... Um, YouTube video of the new one. He illustrates the new one and basically goes over the same instructions I did, uh, but does a much better job. So anyway, this is from John. Um, hope you enjoy it. Well, hey guys. Sometimes you want to get a little uh, different antenna than uh, what's on here with your rubber ducky here. This is the uh, FT60R that I was uh, talking about before. Uh, I actually went to Radio Shack and I got one of these um, telescoping uh, scanner ham antennas, uh, center loaded, and it looks kind of like this. And as a telescoping antenna, it extends like this. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you uh, install it and uh, what you need to do to get the proper uh, wavelength on this one here. So. Uh, as with anything, you want to read the instructions that it came with, and uh, I've done that, so it's very important. Now, as I showed you before, the um, connection to the antenna here is an SMA connection. So, for this radio, since the Radio Shack one is a BNC connection, you will need an adapter, uh, which I, uh, which I bought. So basically it just screws on like this. Like so. Now to calculate the length of the antenna, what you need to do is you need to do 200, well 2034 divided by the uh, frequency that you will be using and on our repeater here in Decatur it is 146.730 uh, that is the frequency so we divide it by that so you will see that the antenna length needs to be about 19.31 uh, inches long so that's what we're going to adjust the uh, telescoping antenna to that length now the instruction booklet said that you have to collapse the section just above the uh, coil, the loading coil. So if we take this entire out, you know, there's one section, two sections, three sections, four sections. Uh, it extends quite long, but um, now it's fully extended on the top here. So to collapse, uh, collapse the section right above the coil, that's this section right here. So that's what we want to collapse. So, that one's collapsed, and then the rest of it is extended, like that. And then we adjust it down here at the bottom for the length of 19 inches, which we'll do now. Okay, let's see here. 19 and uh, 3 here, it's about here. So we're almost almost at the right length there there we go as you can see here's the, here's the difference in length between the antennas here
and we just screw that on here. Got secure. And as you can see, there's the BNC connection right there. Like that. So, we're good to go. And there we have the tire antenna set up right there. So let's just uh, go ahead and give the uh, old repeater a shout. KC9TET listening. As you can hear, I got a nice, nice, clear uh, response from the repeater. And uh, as you can see, I'm indoors, and well, well, I got a large window here, but I got power lines outside and all kinds of stuff out here. Uh, but it's uh, it's going through, uh, but there's nobody out there today, so uh, well, they might be out there, but they might not be uh, using the radio right now. But uh, you can adjust this antenna then uh, to the. 70 centimeters, the uh, 400 megahertz uh, uh, band two, and uh, it's just a matter of the uh, wavelength and stuff. But this is definitely a, a step up from the rubber ducky. And uh, with this antenna, though, you got to be careful because it you can easily break it and bend it, which I've read that a lot of people did. But if you just you know if you're careful and you take care of your antenna, then this will uh, definitely be a step up. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm definitely getting a better reception. Uh, from this. I'll try it tomorrow went on the net and I'll do it from upstairs uh, but uh, that's how you do it with the uh, the Radio Shack uh, telescoping antenna. Well hey guys. Some okay I want to thank uh, John for allowing me to use his video. As I said John has a lot of good videos uh, related to ham radio. Um, his um, YouTube channel is Tactical Gear Head. It's uh, three words all together, Tactical Gear Head. Or you can do a search for that, uh, that particular antenna. That's it for today.